So what we're going to do now is we're going to make some char cloth and char wood. <coughs> Cotton is the best stuff to use for char cloth. And what you can do is, you know, you can cut it down into to smaller pieces is the best thing to do. Um, smallish chunks. Chuck it in the in the tin. Is there anything special about the tin? I'll I'll explain that in a second actually. Sorry, Steve. Big that's pardon. a good, a very very good point. Very important point even. Because if you don't do the right thing, you'll screw it up. So I'm going to put I'm just going to put those two pieces in there for now. And you can take some of that away with you as well, actually. Thank you. Right. So now, this is our punk wood that we were talking about earlier on. It's really very, very rotten wood. So all you do is grab it, chuck it in. I'm not going to water it. I'm not going to put a bit too much, but it'll, it'll be fine. Put that in there. Normally, you wouldn't do the char wood and the char cloth together. Mm -hmm. For this bit of exercise, we can we can do it. So now what we've got, <coughs> that's a cake tin. Right, where's the cake? I've eaten it okay. already, as I would normally do. <laughs> <laughs> and we've put some holes in the top. Just the top? Yeah. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that straight onto the fire. And what you'll see fairly quickly is steam coming out of here. So we're sort of drying it out there. Absolutely, that's exactly what it's doing. Right. Yeah. So... What we'll do, very carefully, is chuck it on the fire. Is there, is there a certain time to sort of let no, it do its business? Yeah, the, the, the thing to do is, once the steam has, has stopped coming out, that's pretty much it done. Sometimes, if you leave it too long, God, you'll you see... can see steam coming out already. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes, if you leave it too long, it'll actually set a light. Yeah. Yeah, and that's not an issue. Yeah. But you've got to get it out quickly and let it cool down. Right. Yep. Show that steam if I can. Right, you can see, see the flame coming out of there now. Yeah. So what do you think that might be then? That wood? Because it's so fine. <laughs> yeah, because not just that as well. It, it, Really, dry, really dry that, yeah. yeah. You want to have a look at it? We'll, we'll leave it a little bit longer. Where when you are, mate. Right, so, obviously this is wax, fat wood, lint, you name it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, in an egg cup, egg carton. Um, and so you can get a sustained flame. I'm just putting the lint on just to get it going straight away quickly. I think Tracy timed it to 11 minutes. Really? Yeah. And obviously, depending on. Yeah, yeah, it depends what's in it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to kick that into the fire pit? There you go, it's burning now. <coughs> Candle wax, fat wood and lint. And obviously the cardboard as well. There's um, another YouTuber and he makes something that he calls buddy burners. So with uh, toilet roll tube yep. and uh, wax and... Uh, is, it toilet, is it toilet paper or kitchen roll? One of the two. And he uses them to cook on. Yeah. Have you, have you seen a Swedish fire log? Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. I'd love to have a go with that, yeah. Well, we'll do it. Next time you come down, we'll grab one of these logs, split it down, get it going. Oh, that'll be good. Which, which version have you seen? But simply the one that's basically got a cross in it, and then um, you set, you, you stack all your, t uh, your kindling, and um, basically, I, th I, th I assume you'd light the fire towards the bottom. Or try to. Yeah. Um, Have you seen the rocket one? 
Ex how do you mean rocket? As in you rocket? Know, you as know, in a rocket school. <laughs> right. Okay. Or, or some people call them. Um, Craig, you have memory. Is it a gas stove? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, no, no. Basically, what you do is you cut a hole in. Right. So you put a hole in, into here. Oh, okay. Here, and you get it so it comes out where you can see it coming through where you've cut down to. Yeah. And it draws the air in there. Do you mean a Kelly Kel? Like a Kelly Kel, yeah. Right. Very, very much like it, but this is just made out of wood. And it's just a souped up version of the Swedish, the Swedish log. Right, so it works like a chimney, sort Absolutely. of thing. Absolutely. So it drags the air through and it burns quicker. All right. So how would you get the hole for it then? So what happens, I can show you that. Have you learnt lots? Yes. Any old pyromaniac? I like my fire, it's good. It's nice, isn't it? I'll um I'll take them over to show that, that shelter that's been rigged up. And uh, Oh, what's this? Man with tools. I tell you the, the, one of the best places to go for gear are the auctions. We've got the roadside auction, which is literally two months from the house. And the amount of gear I've got from there is untrue. I, I bought um, eight gas stoves. You know, the ones you get from £14 something mm -hmm. or the four quid. You know, just people who don't want them anymore. Yeah. I got this off the internet, actually. See that's still burning. Yeah. You put that in your wood, obviously take that off. Yeah. And just drill your hole. So how am I gonna do me um my little button then, my bobbin? Am I allowed to drill that at work? Bobbin? Yeah, it's in my bag. Oh, I'm not telling you. It's I'm not telling you. You've you gotta figure that out yourself. Are you make it out no, I'm not going to, you won't let me make our metal. Not very bushcrafty on my lathe. <laughs> but if I do make them, I'll make 600 and sell them on eBay. Birch <laughs> tapper. Yeah. In there as well. So just always make sure you fill the hole back. Yeah. You'll kill a tree otherwise. Absolutely. Not a done deal, but it's 60% likely that it's and with, when you're birch tapping, right, you can do it up until mid-May-ish. Right. Yeah. It depends on the area. It depends on the winter and spring that you've had. Um, <clears throat> the further north you go, the, um, the later in the year you can tap it. Generally, it's as they say, it's... Um, um, up until mid-April. That's for down south. Yeah, we're northerners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go one better or several better, and it it lasts longer up here because the spring starts later. Okay, so but like, we don't get it as early then. We don't get it as early, no. Right. No. Um, but I mean, the thing is, is when you when you see the buds on the on the tree, um, the leaf buds. That's when you want to you want to start Tap. tapping it, and it'll literally. I, I've seen it come out like a bloody a faucet, open yeah. a, a, a tap, and it and it honestly comes out at a at a rate. Um, more so if it's near a river or a water source, so that it's not having to fight to find that yeah. that water. Um, what do you do with it? Drink it. Just just <laughs> as is. Oh, big time. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, it's refreshing. It's generally it will be sweet. It'll have a sweet sweet taste to it. Um, I mean, you can make. I believe you can make gin out of it and all sorts. Right. Um, but I'm teetotal, so right. I don't do that. I just drink it as it is. We'll try that, will we? Make some gin. <laughs> I don't like gin. Hey? You will like the gin. <laughs> and then, I mean, 
we're we're hoping that we've got some um, Blackthorn to get some slows from. You know, oh yeah, right, okay. And if we haven't, then we'll cultivate plant some. It. Yeah. But that that's the thing about this. We've got a fairly clean sheet. Up to now, I've 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 seen six different types of tree in here. Um, we want about fifteen um, to have a good ecosystem. So the first thing we're going to do is the ha the hazel, hazel and willow are probably the two best woods that we can have, and that's basically because for whittling for making tools out of the hazel is brilliant. Um, you know it grows straight up so it's as straight as a die uh, a lot of the time um, the willow is great for your basket weaving we're looking to have if we have the, the entrance over there then we'll have a willow oh like an arch and the idea is as well is that there'll be willow huts yeah. dotted around either out on the field or, or in here um, and again it's just for the kids yeah. you know we the, we we try to engage kids the best way we can and once we've got them hooked <clears throat> that's when you can start to do more things mm. you know what I mean it's like when you know we say to our families that come down to us um, generally it's because they go out doing walks so they like the outdoors um, but they always say oh, 20 minutes into the walk that's it the kids they've had enough keeping their minds occupied absolutely so we say right go into the woods build a den yep yeah there's another hour two hours that they're out mm -hmm. or you know just try do some bird watching yeah. um do a uh, treasure do some hunt whittling treasure hunt treasure hunt is brilliant it's a, it's a good one because you know you can take a bunch of sweets out with you and just go in the woods and just you know sprinkle about and say right there's 20 20 sweets out there go and find them uh i did an easter egg uh, easter egg hunt and that was great for the kids so, so um they all went running off after a good couple of hours walking, probably three or four hours walking, yeah. and there was chocolate to be had, and it kept their spirits up, kept them interested. Yeah. Energy. In it. <laughs> right, great. That is dying down. That one's just only just gone out, though, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just, yeah. They're good, then. We should have a go at that. Yeah. Good fun to make. The more, the more fat wood you have in it, the longer it'll... It'll last, obviously. Birch bark, uh, everything birch like bark, that, yeah. You name it, yeah. I mean, the birch bark, uh, I mean, we, we... I can't believe that Luke's used it. Um, but you know to, you know to scrape the, yeah. the the surface. The resin, get, get the... Uh, <coughs> get the resin dust out. That goes really well. Um, and we... what One of the things that we do is we'll do that, but we'll restore it wound up. Right. So then we you know, we kind of hold it apart, get the flame going, let it go again, and it creates like a little funnel and it goes because it's dragging air in. Yeah. So it's good. Loads of room. What do you think to that? Thank you very much for uh, for watching. Um, Lisa and myself have really enjoyed uh, meeting Craig for the first time. Very very big thank you to uh, to Craig for inviting us down. We've had a fantastic time. We've learnt loads. Um, we'll be back. Definitely be back. Um, 
it's going to be a, a, a few pictures to follow no doubt and um, if you uh, want to have a look at uh, Rugged Outdoors and uh, check out what Craig is doing with the place and um, how you can get involved the links underneath um, yeah really good day right so here's the um, here's the char cloth so remember that was just cotton before and then that is the punk wood which is now char wood char wood, char wood. and uh, so sometime in the future we're gonna give that a go and um, see what it looks like or lights like even <laughs> 